Hey, on today's episode, we got uh, we're replacing a heat pump compressor on a package unit. Um, and one of the things that you want to do, as you can see, our suction accumulator here is uh, uh, frosted up, it means that we got a lot of the refrigerant out, but not all of it. And so, before we put in the new uh, compressor I'm gonna blow the system out uh, with uh, dry nitrogen try and get all of the refrigerant out otherwise when you're uh, brazing it'll uh, turn back into a gas come up in through here it'll put pressure on your system not only that but it'll also turn into phase on gas which is deadly um, you don't want to burn re the R22 because it will uh, turn into phase on gas and kill you um, if you breathe too much of it uh, you'll know it the second that you get some because it'll burn but uh, does massive amounts of damage to your to your lungs and uh, mucous membrane so definitely flush that out before uh, we get all that and uh, we'll show you that here in a minute okay so uh, flushed it out and uh, uh, unbrazed it as connections and uh, you can see we even you know, pushed it through with nitrogen and we're still uh, got a little bit of gas coming out but uh, we'll wait a little bit and then push some more nitrogen through get all that gas out and then I'll take the old compressor out put the new one in okay so I got the new one brazed in um, we uh, filled the system with the uh, nitrogen um, to about uh, half a psi after flushing it out so that way we don't get oxidation on the inside because this one is a TXV driven system so we did so we definitely uh, want to make sure that it's clean and we don't get any uh, oxidation on the inside which would uh, lead straight back to our TXV here and that'll clog it right up and cause all sorts of problems so we're being very careful of that um, but uh, so now we're gonna um, pressure test it with dry nitrogen 200 psi and then uh, let that hold for about 15 minutes and then we'll start our vacuum and uh, vacuum it down to 400 microns okay so uh, we held good pressure and uh, now we are vacuuming it down 1100 and dropping probably just a couple more minutes and then we'll have uh, good vacuum we'll hold the vacuum for five minutes make sure it holds uh, stable for five minutes and then we can move on to the next uh, which should be uh, on this particular one I'm gonna weigh in the charge um, just because on package units you can get uh, pretty much exact um, we're gonna weigh it in but then we're gonna compare the weigh in to the sub cooling make sure that our subcooling is exactly where we're supposed to be um, if it's not we'll make whatever minor adjustments we need so we'll show you that here in a minute okay so we're uh, weighing in our charge um, we're gonna put in 10 pounds and uh, 8 ounces which is uh, 174 ounces divided by 16 so we're going to add that in as much as we can without running the the uh, compressor we'll let it just naturally go in once it stops uh going in and and uh, then we need to add a little we'll add that while it's running but uh for the most case you can you can get several, quite a few pounds in into a system without it running but I uh, will show you that here in a minute. 